This is a cup and a half of finely chopped pecans, a third of a cup of sugar, a third of a cup of packed light brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, yum. Mm -hmm. This is an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, so just a little bit. And then three tablespoons of melted butter. Nice. Which makes everything good. And we're gonna mix it all up. So uh, what is this? This is actually going to be a topping on our little dessert. Ooh. Could be a dessert, I guess. Did I hear you call it a crumble earlier? It is. All right, you want everything good and coated with the butter, as you can see. And that's it for the topping. Looks good. We're starting on our cake. This is one and seven eighths cup of flour, which is a very odd measurement. That's very specific. So one cup plus three quarters and two tablespoons. <laughs> one teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna whisk this together. Now we have a half a cup of butter softened. To that, we're gonna add a cup of sugar. And then we're gonna mix that together. Next, we have two eggs. And we're gonna whisk that in with our butter and sugar. Next is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and then a cup of sour cream. Okay, and we're gonna whisk that together. Now we want to add in just a little bit at a time of our flour mixture, and we'll whisk it in till we have it all incorporated in there, and we don't wanna over mix it. How much flour was it in total? Um, it was one cup and seven Oh, eggs. that's right. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I they, asked you the hardest question. I don't know where they came up with that <laughs> measurement, but there it is. All right. Now we want to take about half of our batter and put it into our buttered baking dish. And this called, the recipe said eight by 10, but our dish is seven by 11. So close enough. Now you want to take half of the crumble and started spreading it around. Oh, that's the part that I'm excited mm, about. Me is too. Crumble, it looks and mm. smells so good. It does. Now we want to add the remaining half of our batter. Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle the remaining crumble on top. We wanna get it all on here. You know what, I can't wait to have this with a cup of coffee oh, in the morning. I know, or with my tea. There's, I mean, it's so good. I'm excited, and I can't wait for it to make the house smell really good, too. Yeah. And I mean, it's a coffee cake. What else are you supposed to have with her? <laughs> okay, a, a tea cake for me. <laughs> uh, now you want to gently just press down on the topping into the batter. To the oven we go. To huh? the oven we go. It's preheated on 350. And this will bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. And we'll check it with a toothpick to be sure it's done. Okay, it's been 32 minutes. Mmm, smells so good. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. smells like a bakery in here. <laughs> it smells so good. It does. Obviously, it's really hot and we're going to have to wait to try it, but... Mm. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Maybe, do you want the honors this time to try it? I don't know, we'll see. All right. It's that time. It is. Oh, look at that. I know, look, you can see the layers in there. So From good. that crumble that we put in there. Mm. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm excited about this and it's not even chocolate, so that says something. <laughs> you can see in there. All right, honey. All right, I'm gonna try it out. I'm super excited. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. That crumble is so good on top of there and yeah. inside of it. I cannot wait mm. to fill this empty mug up okay, you with need a little to. coffee and have it with this. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So, You're going to really enjoy it. 
This is another keeper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That is awesome. Here it is, y'all. Pecan, or pecan, however you say it. <laughs> Sour cream coffee cake. Give it a try. You'll definitely want to try it. Enjoy and have a blessed day.